Welcome to Doll's Beauty Show. I'm your host, Doll. I am so excited. Victoria has invited us to our art show. So everyone out there, sit back, relax, and check this out. Here on Doll's Beauty Show, I have the beautiful Victoria. I love your necklace. Oh, thank you, Doll. Did someone do the art here today? Uh, we have this necklace. Mm -hmm. No, I did this necklace. I made this necklace. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes. See, that's a little bit of what you're going to see here today, like yes. what Victoria is wearing. Yes. I'm telling you, some beautiful art. Artwork is gorgeous. Yes. And yes. all this talent. Why did you think it was so important for me to come to your home and see all these great artists? Uh, because a lot of times... People in the art world, they really don't get uh, exposure. They don't get mm -hmm. recognition. Yes. And um, I thought that perhaps you might come to our little art show and see some fabulous art, you yeah. know, um, art that you wouldn't necessarily see, you know, yeah, if you go into uh, the department store. Yeah. So, you know... You, People, you know, and plus these are wonderful artists and they give back to the community, yes. you know. Uh, and they're giving back here today because they're sharing yes. their hard work because to hand make something takes yes. a long time, I understand, right? Yes, it does. Now, why do you pick angels of all the things that you can make? What is it so special about the angels to you? Well, what's special about angels to me, I was involved in multiple motor vehicle accidents mm. and I feel that God and his angels were surrounding me because mm. my condition could have been much worse than what it was and I believe that I was saved by the angels and so, so that inspires that you inspired me too that is so beautiful that's why she makes angels and you have some of the most beautiful angels thank, thank you. god you survived that accident yes i'm thankful to god mm. yes. and the angels yes. they were watching the over angels. and we all have angels watching over us i tell you and it's so nice so i can't wait to see your work oh, okay. so everyone out there well, i'm gonna show you some of the work come on richard let's zoom in now what we have here it's so beautiful. This is for like the Christmas tree. Yes. You put this on the Christmas tree and hang it. Isn't that pretty? And is there like um, hair? You put the hair yes, in Yes, that's synthetic hair. And I also am attracted to wood. So a lot of my angels, the faces and the wings are made from wood. From wood. Yes. All right. We got to get close up and show these items. They are so beautiful. Wow. I love the angels. This is so beautiful right here. Thank you. Do you call this another name? It's like a magnet. I too. call you it could a, put... a mini doll magnet. A mini doll magnet. See, a doll here on Doll's Beauty Show. Isn't that beautiful? A doll angel. Most of them have a hanger as well as a magnet. If you don't want to, say, put it on your refrigerator mm -hmm. or your file cabinet, you can hang it on your doorknob or over your window. People hang them up year round. Now, did you go to school for this? I went through a transformation when I was involved in the car accidents and uh, basically got brought it to me a gift a gift yes a gift to I, share with everyone yes i have attended um prince george's community college in their sculpture mm -hmm. uh, program and i created the praise the lord that's um that you'll be seeing okay i can't wait yeah. to see that piece oh. i'm sitting here with tamara and i was talking about how her beautiful art is African inspired. And we were talking about our dreams to go into certain parts of Africa. And I would love to go to Africa too, certain parts. Yeah, because I've been to Morocco, but I would love to go to East and the West, you know, in the South Africa. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's your dream too. Oh, huh? this is my dream. So you studied a lot about the African culture and that's how you know the fabrics and the colors? I studied a lot on my own. Mm -hmm. I um, visit the uh, African 
art muse, museum, museum here in Washington, D.C., downtown, and it really inspires me as well as the Anacostia Museum and a lot wow. of the museums, but I'm attracted to um, colorful fabrics and mm -hmm. African fabrics in particular. Yeah, they're beautiful. I'm telling you, look at this. And this is beautiful. This hangs on your Christmas tree. Yes. Can you imagine your Christmas tree with angels all over? Mm -hmm. What? L this is love right here put into every piece of artwork. Her beautiful angels, her dolls, her pillows. I mean, you do it all. I'm telling you, I appreciate this interview. Thank you. I appreciate being here. And yeah. I appreciate Victoria for inviting me. Yeah, because a really lot of love fun. went into your work. Thank I you. see that. And I love the, the story about the angels, how you were in that car accident. Now, you know, you're making angels because they surrounded you. Yes. Wow. Well, that might inspire someone out there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tamara. I never Tamar. thought I would be doing this. I never did, so you never know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> God is good. It, you can do it, and God will bless you. Mm -hmm. Yes, God is good. Well, thank you for this interview. I'm sitting here with Joyce, who's a part of Victoria's art show. And I'm so excited because I have the love for jewelry. I mean, I love jewelry. And this piece right here is beautiful. Thank you. Wow. How long did this take? I also do things in stages mm -hmm. because I have many wonderful children. Aww. So um, uh, if I do it. Beginning to end, it would probably take a couple of hours at least. A couple of hours, that's all? Yeah. Did you go to school for this? I, n not, classes? I did take wonderful jewelry classes with a great lady named Kathy Berry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kathy Berry, yes. wow, she really taught you a lot, but you had to have some type of gift to put these colors oh. together too. I, I mean, fabulous, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. You Joyce, so you are very talented. I'm telling you, I know the viewers are getting their eye full, but let me tell you, with the economy the way it is today, some people can't afford to buy, you know, expensive jewelry items, but maybe you can make it. You know, Joyce might inspire you to make this piece of jewelry or either buy something like this. I love costume jewelry. That is my favorite. You know what I mean? Costume jewelry is so good because you don't have to break the bank. You don't have to sell your house, your car, anything. You know what I mean? You just wear it and it's very affordable and you can switch up a lot. Don't you think? Yes. And I try to make mine very affordable. Yeah. And that's what it's about these days, you know, um, looking good on a budget. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and then in the meantime, you're supporting the artists like Joyce, because Joyce, I'm telling you, a lot of people need to get back into costume. Don't you think? Yes, I do. And I start to see people wearing costume jewelry lately, haven't yeah. you? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. A lot of stars in Hollywood and everything, yeah. even though they can afford diamonds and expensive jewelry, because I haven't seen Oprah wear costume jewelry, you know, pieces of chunky jewelry, you know? So it goes to show you, you don't have to have a whole lot of money to have great style. We're back with Joyce and you were sharing with me about how you can recycle and do art as well. Now tell me about this clock piece. Oh, this was a piece that I actually found at a thrift store mm -hmm. and it was metal around the edges and I thought, oh, what a great base for mosaics. Mm -hmm. So this is all recycled dinnerware, um, the breaking of which is quite therapeutic, I might add. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a great time just decorating it and it's called happiness because it makes and me it smile. Yes, it makes me smile too. I'm telling you because you took something that was considered going out to the trash yeah. and yeah. recycled it and made something as beautiful as this out of that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what, did, what was this again, this round part? Uh, it was just the metal border around the clock, and it was a little bit dented, and so it was for sale. Wow. Uh -huh. And 
That's something, and you didn't pay hardly anything no, for it. No, I didn't. I didn't. I got a very nice price for it. Now tell me about this piece. This is actually the genius of my friend Mary Overmeyer. Who inspires you? Who totally inspires me. And she takes recycled vintage computer parts. Computer parts? And computer parts, which she makes so beautiful. Uh, she Jewelry. has her own process, and she does a lot of work with them. But they have most of them have electroplated gold. Actually, mm -hmm. all of them do. And uh, she designs, uh, takes all the pieces and designs them so beautifully. Who and knew? I just wire wrap them. Because you could take your computer and... Yeah. Get rid of it, but she takes and makes jewelry out of her friends, computer parts. Friends have given us computers. I have many friends who have given me so many great things over the years. You know, that is so great. Thank you. You really inspired me. So now you don't have to get rid of your computer. You could just wear it around your neck or some earrings. What about your car? Maybe your <laughs> car emblem or a tire or something. Maybe you could make something out of that. Thank you. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too far. No, no, no. <laughs> but you can, though, maybe. In fact, at Delray Artisans Camp for, uh -huh. for children, uh, the last week in July, um, the theme was recycling. And wow. the director, Jen Athenis, thought of all kinds of wonderful ways that we could help the kids recycle, and they had a great time. Who knew? Recycle. Don't get rid of your stuff. Just turn it over. Make it in something beautiful. Right. Just get creative with it. Yep. We're here at Victoria's Art Show, and I'm here with Ellery. Ellery, I want to start by saying you look absolutely beautiful. I love your hair. Thank you so I much. Do. It is gorgeous, but I also love this beautiful art. Thank you. All right, as we were talking about the dolls, we were talking about the earrings and the jewelry and how you have them dressed. Is this a real coconut? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I like to use a lot of found objects also mm -hmm. um, that I find it market thrift stores to mm -hmm. incorporate those in the dolls. That is beautiful. Thank you. Wow, I love the coconut and the carving of that along with the dolls with the earrings. It kind of reminds me of Jamaica too. I think so. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. I think this one or another one I had, oh it says the, Jamaica yeah, right across the front. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they're known for doing the carvings, Yes. you know, and, and the coconuts, taking the coconuts and making beautiful pocketbooks out of them. But this is really nice. This is a beautiful piece of artwork. And I love the hair. Now, how did you do this, the hair? Now, the hair I just um, purchased at wow. a beauty supply store. Just like if you're getting your hair braided, mm -hmm. I use the same type of hair that wow. a hairstylist would use. And I'm amazed at this one because if you can show them up close, it has streaks in it. Yes. <laughs> wow, that's real different. That's so what's in right now. Exactly. Thank Beautiful. You. Let's move on to the other okay. doll babies. Now, I love this little doll baby right here because if you notice her nails, you know, Richard, come in close. Look at her nails. Uh -huh. They're a lot like mine. Yes. Check this out. And I don't think That's, you, you yeah, knew. Nope. Look That's at this. She is so me all the way. And she says, happy. Now, what inspired you about this doll baby? Uh, about three years ago um, at a black doll show, we had a challenge and each doll artist had to make a clown. Mm -hmm. And this was the clown that I made for that doll show uh, about oh, four, three her. or four years ago. And I named her Happy. Happy. And she is, look at her little toes. They're even colorful, yes. too, along with her hands and her necklace. And I love her hair. Look at all the colors in her hair. Mm -hmm. This is happy, everyone. And it's about being happy yes, here on is. Dolls <laughs> Beauty Show. And, you know, this artwork is really making me happy. All these creative pieces, I'm telling you. I mean, this is a gift. Did you go to school for this? No, I didn't. I was self-taught. And what really inspired me to start making dolls, uh, my sister-in-law, Tamara, mm -hmm. she would buy my daughter's um, black dolls for different occasions. So I researched and I said, okay, I think I can make black dolls also. So I started um, about 2000 in one mm -hmm. and what inspired me also my dolls are faceless mm -hmm. and um, my dolls are faceless and that's based on um, scripture wow. out of first Samuel mm -hmm. that the Lord looketh at the heart where man looks on the outer appearance so okay. I figured if we all look the same there would be no prejudice I know that's right